What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are going to be looking at some more of the longest hardcore series that are out there and the first one we have today is SB737 who is now at 3000 days of hardcore Minecraft. If you guys want to see the actual longest hardcore worlds of all time, go ahead and check out part one of this video where we covered uh, worlds that were up to over 11,000 days of hardcore Minecraft. The most we'll get to in this video is just over 6,000 days. Now SB737 just hit day 3000 of his hardcore world and he's done some pretty insane stuff in his world in that time. Of course he has a ton of crazy cool farms surrounding his entire world. Uh, this one right here was actually an obsidian farm that he was working on that he actually had to use a wither for. Now this went wrong a few times and he did actually end up having to fight a couple withers in the end but it still worked out in the end. He also has some pretty crazy farms that he worked on in the Day 3000 video, the End of Light Machine where he was using update suppressors, things like that, basically doing things that Doc M77 was doing in Hermitcraft 8, which were absolutely game breaking. It's really cool to see this in a single player world and also all the things that SV737 has come up with. He's built machines that slow down time so that he can make it to the world border and so much more in this hardcore world. It's really an amazing series to follow along with so if you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend you go and check out his channel. He posts a video every 100 days and he just posted the 3000 day video two days ago. This project that he was working on right here was a mob farm that produces an insane amount of mobs, more than I have ever seen in a single farm before. Unfortunately, it may take some work to get all those mobs sorted out because they are coming out extremely fast. Next up, we are checking out Wadzi, who is at, I believe, about 3600 days in his hardcore world, and he actually just decided to start over in the same world. So he still has his day counter going, except he's no longer in this area where all of his previous builds are. He decided to start over because he actually began his world back in 1.15 and now that we're in 1.18 there is just so much new stuff to explore especially the new uh, world generation so he wanted to start over and actually be a part of all the 1.18 world stuff and I think that is a great idea. So he packed up his stuff, moved 10,000 blocks away and then put everything in obsidian box so that he basically has to start over in Minecraft. I think this is a great way not only to explore the new world, but also to just have a bit more fun and a bit of risk in your own world. He's not going to go back to any other part of his world until he does a few things that he has on a checklist. Some of those things include harvesting a ton of melons and also finding a new set of netherite armor. Next up we have Anthony YTG, who was recommended to me by a viewer on our last video. Anthony is at almost 5,000 days of hardcore Minecraft, I believe, and he has a ton of really cool builds in his world. His videos are actually really entertaining to watch too. He has a lot of nice time lapses and also is pretty entertaining uh, talking about all the things that he is working on. And of course, being alive for over 4,000 days in this world, he's built a lot of very cool things. This is God Islands with the Monument of the Gods in the center, which I think looks incredible. He's also got some quarries around, some uh, village settlements, some castles, a lot of really cool builds throughout this entire world. A lot of these builds are still works in progress. He still has a lot of plans for uh, the builds. He also has some great stuff going on in the nether. This was a piglin village that he was working on. Super unique idea that I have not seen before. A lot of people build nether hubs, things like that, but nobody really builds anything like this in the nether. Next up, we've got Jahida, and Jahida is unfortunately going on vacation for the next six months, so we're not gonna get any new content from him anytime soon, but so far he has such a cool world going on. This was his void project where he was actually basically covering the entire floor and the walls in black concrete and glass so that it looked like the entire void was around and he also has a secret room at the bottom. Now the uh, kind of reason for this build is that he has a netherite beacon above this so it's kind of like it's draining the life and ground out from beneath it because it is so powerful. Now Jahida is actually at around 3500 days I believe and he's got a ton of cool projects in his world as well. He always goes above and beyond in his videos so definitely go and check him out and hopefully he returns from vacation with a renewed energy to build more in hardcore Minecraft. 
Next up, we've got Andre, formerly known as RWMC or Random Walter Minecraft, and he has a super incredible hardcore world. Now he's at about 1350 hours of real time in this world, which translates to uh, just over 4000 days in this world, and he has so much going on. He's basically prepping for a huge base build, which he has already somewhat started working on. He's laid the groundworks for the build, and he's got like his storage room and super smelter built up. This right here is his sand farm. He's basically using this machine that he's working on uh, to dig up all the sand from this desert because it can do it much faster than he can do it by hand. Over here, this is his storage room, which is all built around the end portal right in the middle. You can see he's got a massive perimeter dugout and there's actually a bunch of these perimeters all in a huge circle. Uh, this is gonna be uh, his actual base. I'm not too sure of his specific plan of what he wants to do for his base, but it's obviously going to be massive, and if you've seen his previous survival world, you'll know that he is an incredible builder, so I'm really excited to see what this base is going to look like. Now these perimeters for his base are absolutely massive, and here is kind of a picture of all the perimeters and what he's doing in each of them. So he's got a super smelter in one, a storage system in another, a huge farm in another. So you can see there is a lot happening in this world and his main base isn't even built yet. I am really excited to see this base, but it is still a long way off as he needs to gather millions and millions of blocks. Last but definitely not least today, we have Thee. Thee is at over 6,000 days in a hardcore Minecraft and also has a really incredible world. This is actually one of my favorite Minecraft worlds of all time just because his builds are so cool. You can see right here he has this massive castle with the huge fields of wheat. It's a really beautiful build and he's got projects across every dimension of this world. 6,000 days is a long time to be in a Minecraft world so you definitely have time to work on a lot of projects and really make the most of them. One of my favorite projects in this world is actually his end portal and also the project that he worked on in the end dimension. So this is the end portal. You can see it's surrounded by beacons, some cool designs, and then it has a huge, basically inverted pyramid that goes all the way down to the portal itself. The end dimension is absolutely beautiful. He's built everything out of like in stone and wood in here and it looks really amazing. He's kind of built his own village on the inside here, making up walls and really using this end island as something very, very beautiful. We've shown off a lot of end projects on this channel and this really is one of my favorites. There's just so much going on here, whole villages, a lot of very natural things and it looks really, really cool. Definitely go check out Thiet's channel so you can see his 6,000 day video and all the rest of the content he puts out. All the links for everyone we featured will be down in the description below, but unfortunately that is all the time we have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. We have a ton of different Minecraft content, and if you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy some of our others. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.